So I thought it would be good to follow up my last video with sort of an explanation why we chose to do things the way we did. Also, I have my two kitty friends. If you've seen my last two videos, you know that I have a sort of controversial view of what sexual touch before marriage can look like for Christians who are waiting until marriage to have sex. So I explained a little of how we waited until our wedding day to actually kiss, but when we went from dating to engaged, hello Liz. Anyway, when we went from dating to engaged, our boundaries changed. So when we were dating, what are you doing? We didn't kiss, we held hands, we hugged, but we really tried to refrain from doing anything sexual. I have to make an entire other video on the ways we uh, messed up our boundaries. But then when we were engaged, we allowed more sexual touch. And so I want to explain why we made that transition. First off, when my husband and I, you know, prayed about it individually and together and talked about it together, my husband, you know, then fiance explained like his thinking was how much dating and the context for dating has changed since the times of the Bible. I know not everyone will agree with this interpretation and that's okay, just be nice. Um, but the way my husband looked at it was people didn't have these extended periods of dating and engaged before they got married. Sometimes they didn't meet until the wedding day. And so there wasn't this prolonged period of temptation for a lot of marriages back in the day. And so I don't say that to justify what we did, but that that was my husband's line of thinking um, after prayer, after talking with me, um, was that, you know, things are different now. And secondly, when we made that commitment to be engaged, when we made that commitment to say, I do, we then committed to a lifetime together. So making that transition into sexual touch wasn't a lustful decision. It was the beginning buds of the sexual desire that God has created in us for each other. So in summation, whatever your boundaries look like dating and engaged, I think it stems from you and your future spouse's personal relationships with the Lord your convictions as you stay in tune with Holy Spirit and you continue to pray throughout the duration of your relationship on into marriage. So I thought it would be good to follow up my last